Hello, my name is Brittany and welcome to Family Friday's Paint Night. A few words before we begin. Thank you for your continued interest and support for this workshop. You can expect a new video every third Friday of the month for the foreseeable future until we can resume classes in person at the Art and Spirituality Center. Speaking of which, there are other classes being held virtually if you are interested in taking any of those. I'll leave the link to our virtual calendar in the description box below. As a reminder, my class was made to promote bonding between family and friends. You do not need to be an artist to enjoy art. My art isn't perfect, so don't think yours needs to be either. To all those participating in this activity, I want you to try your best and don't worry about the outcome. My hope is for you to let go, get lost in the artistic process, and forget about what's currently happening in the world, even just for a little bit. One last thing before we begin. Feel free to pause, rewind, fast forward, mute, or do anything you need in order to follow along with this video. I normally take over three hours to complete a painting, even though my class runs about two and a half hours. For the sake of time and to make a short video, the clips you see of me painting are sped up significantly. Please, by all means, relax and take your time. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Here is what we will be painting for December of 2020. Disclaimer, this is not my original artwork as I found it somewhere on the internet. I do not take credit for this concept and I wish I could find the original artist to give credit. Think of this as a study of the original artwork. In the theme of December and the holidays, here we have a centerpiece made of three red candles set inside a ring of holly leaves. Feel free to take artistic control, change the colors, make additions or adjustments, or change it up completely. The choice is yours. All right, let's talk about paint. We'll be using acrylic paint for this activity. You can use the fancier, more expensive paints if you want to. For this project, I'll be using paints you can find at your local craft store or even Walmart that are less than $1. We'll need a few colors, red, yellow, a darker green, darker blue, black, and white. We'll need a few brushes today, a large flat brush, a medium flat brush, a small round brush, and a thin detail brush. Some other materials we will need, something to put under the canvas or canvas board, such as a tablecloth or newspaper. You can also use a matte board, like this one I've used several times. Of course, you'll need something to paint on. I personally will be using a canvas board, 12 by 16 specifically. You can also use an actual canvas of any size too. Then we have our paints. You'll need a plate to put the paint on. You can also use a palette if you have one. A water cup to clean your paint brushes. And lastly, a paper towel or an old towel. I have a towel I've used plenty of times for other paintings, as you can see here. Okay, order of operations, how this painting will go. First, we'll paint the background, starting with our dark blue going into a black. And then we will draw out three circles or three oval shapes for the top of the candles and then draw lines for the sides, making that nice candle shape. Then we will sketch out our leaves. Next we will begin painting the candles, first the tops and then the rest of them. And then we'll add our shadows and our little accents to the candles and the wicks and flames. Next we will paint the holly leaves green and a little bit black and then we will outline them in white and outline them in black as well and then we'll do the centers of the leaves in black then we will do the centers the berries of the holly leaves and then lastly the stars in the sky all right let's get started First, I'm going to pour out the darkest blue I have, which is a navy blue. You can use a regular blue if you have one. It does not matter at all. That's just what I had on hand. And then I'm gonna pour out some black and white as well. With the largest brush, I have my large flat brush. I'm first going to make sure that I get all of my edges. That's just a personal thing. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. But after that, I'm just going to start with my blue and kind of just do 
strokes in the shape of an X. Um, I like to see the brush strokes right now. I'm not trying to make it super blendy or anything like that. This is just a style choice. You can do this if you want to, or you can blend it out as well. And then towards the bottom, I'm going to paint it more so black. And then I'm going to slowly work my way up to blend the blue and black together. So that is how I'm going to first start my background. Next, we're going to work on the stars. I just got some watered down white paint and with my index finger, I'm making flicking motions by moving my finger up towards the sky. And I just kind of went mainly focusing on the blue. Some of these droplets will be bigger than others, but just make sure it's pointed down. So off camera, I already went and sketched out these candles and you can't see them so much against this dark blue. I apologize, I should have sketched them out in some kind of white chalk so everybody could see it, but I'm currently tracing it with a black sharpie as best as I can if you can see it. So the first one is in the top right corner, probably about two inches from the top. First just an oval shape and then I'm going to draw two lines on either side of that to make that cylinder shape. And I'm probably going to stop about two thirds of the page where that bottom line will go. Next I'm going to do the one in the top left corner. It's going to be a little bit shorter than the one that we just did. Same concept, just another oval in the two lines, and then we'll do the same with the little one, the oval, and the two lines. Now we're going to start painting the candles. I poured out some red paint here, and this paint that I have is a little bit translucent, so you will see me doing a couple of layers of that. So first I'm going to get my red candles as opaque or as solid red as I possibly can.
All right, so now that I have my red candles as red as I want them to, I'm next going to add the shadows. So I'm gonna get some watered down black paint and just kind of focus on one side to be a little bit darker than the center. This is to make it look like it's round and cylinder shape. Then I'm also going to darken it up in the middle kind of making it look like the candle has sunk a little bit from being lit. So that's what I'm going to be working on right now. Um, I'm mainly focusing on the left side, but I'm going to add some black shadows to the right side as well. Just trying to focus on the middle being that same red color again, just to make it look like it's round. Okay, so these candles are not meant to look super realistic. Um, I'm just going by the style choice that the artist made in the reference picture. So first, with my small detail brush, I'm going to outline all of the candles in black first. And then once that is dry, I am going to outline some of it in white. Um, this is all, of course, up to you which parts that you want to highlight as well, but let's just start with the black first. I am going to outline everything in black. Now I'm going to go in with my white and just do some random fun highlights. 
So I'm going to go mainly on the inside of the black, so not directly on the lines that we just painted, but a little bit on the inside and kind of on one side do a little bit of white, um, go on the top of the candle, just do a little half circle here, half circle there, and just have fun and play with it. This is a good part where you can be creative. You don't have to do this part if this is a little bit too unrealistic for you and you want to make it look a little bit more natural. That is totally up to you. You can not do this part and leave it at how it was before we even outlined it in black. It is completely up to you. But I'm just going to, again, use the reference photo um, as my inspiration. So right now we are just going to add some fun highlights to the candles. Next, right here, we're just going to add a few more highlights to the front of the candles. Kind of look like a little bit of zigzags, a little squiggle, and then it goes down. I'm just going to do that on a couple of the sides. This is just to make it look like it's a little bit shiny, a little bit of that round shape like we were trying to do with the um, use of the watered down black paint. Again, this is optional if you don't like how this looks, that is completely up to you. So first I'm going to start off by doing that white and then I'm going to let it dry and I will go over this with yellow as well. And then I'm going to go back right now with my black and just add some more, um, I guess, highlights or shadows just to give it a little bit more dimension. So just play with this and have fun. Okay, we're almost done with the candles, so next I'm going to first use my detail brush with some black and paint the wicks of the candle, so just basically a little line. And then once that dries, I'm going to paint over it in white a little bit, just so it pops. And then lastly is the flames, so it kind of looks like a water droplet a little bit, but just a little bit elongated and a little bit more pointy. So first I'm going to do that in white and again once that dries and once those squiggles dry I'm going to go over the flames and those squiggles in a little bit of a light yellow color. Okay, next we're going to work on the holly leaves. Um, this part is optional. You don't have to first outline it in white if you don't want to, but I really wanted you to see what shapes I was going for. So how I think of how I do these leaves are just a really wide W. If you can see, it's like two W's facing each other and there's three of them. Um, and then they're each connected by that cluster of berries. So right now, just because it's on such a dark background and you can't see any of the pencil that I did, I'm just going to paint them first in white and then that'll help me know where I need to paint it green. So first I'm going to outline 
all of my leaves in white. Alright, next we are going to start painting the holly leaves. So I'm going to pour out that darker green color that I had and then also a separate pile to mix um, with yellow to make like a lighter green color. So there's really no rhyme or reason of how I'm painting it or where I'm painting it per se, but um, just on one side doing it a little bit lighter and then on the other side, a little bit darker. Um, eventually I do add a little bit of black to it, but we are going to outline this a little bit in black and then also do the centers and the veins. So the green is gonna be covered up a little bit, so um, this doesn't need to be perfect at all. So you can see that I've done two leaves so far, I'm working on another one, and I'm just going with it, just there's light on one side and dark on the other. So have fun painting your leaves. Um, if you don't want to do the holly leaves, you can do um, a poinsettia, you can do a different kind of flower. Just have fun with it and be creative and I will check back in in a little bit.
Okay, so as we painted that green, we painted over those white outlines of the holly leaves. So first I'm going to outline everything again in the white and then eventually I will go in with the black. And just like how we did for the candles, I'm not going to outline it completely again. Um, this time we'll go on the inside of the white with the black but just wherever you feel like it could add something to the leaves. But right now, just focus on the outline in white. I felt like there was some extra space that could use some holly leaves so I went ahead and just painted out the shape without coloring it in in some of these empty spots so this is optional you can paint it in green if you want to but just so I didn't have so much empty space I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with more leaves Okay, we are so close to being done. So now we're going to work on the black outlines of the holly leaves. So with my thin detail brush and black, first I'm going to start off with a line in the center of the leaves. And then I'm going to paint in some veins, um, just mainly two on one side and one on the other. And then after I do that, I will kind of outline again the holly leaves in black. Similar again to how we did the candles, just on certain spots I'll do black, I'll leave a space empty. Um, this is just to give it some dimension and again I'm going to do it on the inside of the white, not directly on the outlines that we just did. So have fun with this, this is optional if you want to, but I feel like it darkens the leaves a little bit and kind of ties it in with the background and the black um, outlines that we have in the candles and I feel like it works really well. So now I am just going to finish outlining the leaves.
Next, we're going to do the berries of the holly leaves. So at the end of one of my paint brushes, I'm just going to go and dip on into the red and just make circles. At first they started small, but when I saw that I had some more space, I eventually made them a little bit bigger. So I'm going to do that in clusters of three um, on these first two, and then I felt like it needed more red. So now on any leaves where I feel like one could fit, I'm just going to add a single berry. And I forgot to do this on camera, but once those dried, I went ahead and did like a little highlight of yellow. I mean, not yellow, of white on the berries just to give it a little bit of a reflection of light. Okay, and our very last step are these three stars. I just made a creative executive decision and added these. So first again, with the opposite end of one of my paint brushes, I just marked off um, two stars on the upper left hand corner and one on the upper right hand corner. First I started off with basically a cross shape and then between those spaces an X and that's how I did my shining stars in the sky. And that is it my friends. Good job if you made it this far and completed the painting. I'm happy with my finished product and I hope you are with yours too. If your painting looks different from mine, that is totally fine. As you know, I miss everyone and I really wish I were with my family Friday class painting alongside them. I'm also happy to know that more people have had the chance and opportunity to do art safely at home and on their own time. I am thankful for the friendships I have made because of this class and I cannot wait to make more when we are able to gather again. I hope these videos bring you joy and you were able to relax and not worry about the current events of the world, even just for a little bit. Please stay safe, have a great rest of your weekend, a happy holidays, and a happy new year. I'll see you next time.